Hello, my name is Ray, and I'm your random guide on the random show. Today we're going to install .NET Core on an Ubuntu 16.04 machine LTS. So let's get started. My whole idea is to get you up and running using Core and building cool web applications. So one of the first things that we should do is we should install ASP.NET Core. And the way to do that is um, go to the URL. What is it? Um, www.microsoft.asp. No, ASP. Those are old days. Com. Net Core. That should take us to the Microsoft page where we can download the Core package. Now at the web page that has the core package, we go over here to Linux, because that's the machine that I have. I'm using Ubuntu. And I told you that it was 16.04, which is this one right here. And there's three commands in here. Basically, this first command is to point the repository or point the app git package manager to this repository where the .NET core application or the packages are stored. This command right here is a key server command. So it matches the request or it gets a request and secures the um, the pack the downloads of the files. And then what we need to do is we need to update the package manager to get the complete new list of files. So let's put this into action. So we'll just take this first statement here and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into here. It's going to ask me for my password. I'll gladly give it. And it did not like it. Oh, it did. It set the key. So the next part, <laughs> I was expecting something more fancy to happen. Is this over here. Copy this. I want to put this in here. This is where we're getting the key server in line. It's making a request to the key server, and it's got the request back. So now that we have our keys in sync, so we'll just do a sudo apt get update. And this this should update our app get package manager with the newest um, packages out there. Now that we have our packages update, we are ready to install .NET Core. And the command to install .NET Core is right here. So we'll copy that and paste that over. Okay. I'll say yes, of course, and let it do its installation. Now that we have a .NET Core installed, we can verify that by typing .NET version. And did I spell it right? Dot net hyphen oh right. two two minuses. There you go. Now that we know what version it is, um, we can. Um, w the next part is we need to install the Node Package Manager. And the way that I want to install the Node Package Manager is by using the Node Version Manager, which is an application that allows me to manage the versions of Node um, Package Manager that I may install. So let's do that. The way the, the approach that I was brought to is if I go to um, Google, Google everything. Google's probably got to be home. The we're going to look for NVM creation. Nix. Let's go there. And at the very top, and this will take us to the um, Git repository where the NVM application is being held, or the package is being held. Here at the Git repository, we can just cursor all the way down here to the curl script. Now, to run curl, I guess I should digress a bit here. I need to install um, git and curl. So let me clear this out. And 
s u d o apt git and c u r l is what I'm going to need. Git install. Yay! There I go. And we should also install git. Oops. There. Now, of course, I'll say yes. Now that I have curl installed, I can run this command. And basically what this command does is it fetch, fetches the code that's needed and um, runs it through bash. Uh, it has an install script there. And because this touches our bash environment, we need to um, restart the terminal. So let's do that by just exiting out and control alt T. There is my terminal. So from here, what I need to do is I need to install NPM or the node package manager. That's exactly why I did that curl thing. So to see what's available, you go NBM hyphen list remotes. Oh. I keep on forgetting that it should be no hyphen in front of this one. And I should put it spell it that way. Okay. You get to see me watch you get to watch me type bad commands and then correct them in the post thing. Well there's our list. And the latest list one is this. So let's copy that over. I'm just a cut and paste kind of guy. And pretty much I want to in NVM install that version. I'm going to pause the videos because this may take some time. Now that we have node version 6.10.3 in, we could use a node package manager to install the node package manager. NPM, NPM, globally. So we put the minus G in here. Let me double check to make sure that all my grammar is correct. And let's install. Now what we need is to install Yeoman. And Yeoman is a um, scaffolding system that builds any kind of app. In particular, we want to build a ASP.NET app. So that's my end thing. So let's do that. Node package manager install and as you I told you the dash G is for global and it's yo that we want we also need a, a Bower Bower is a front-end package manager you stuff like angular and um, and let's see the other one Twitter bootstrap so let's install Bower. And we'll also need Grunt. So npm install Grunt. And it's the uh, what is it, CLI, <coughs> the command line interface. Let that install. Oh, oh, error. Did I spell it wrong? Of course I did. I forgot to see it. I, I said it, but somehow I missed it. The command line interface. And let that install. We'll also need to install Grunt. Grunt is a, another JavaScript task runner for the front end. So let's install Gulp. We're almost there. We're almost there. And now, since Yeoman will be generating the ASP.NET packages, it also needs it. Yeoman will also need a generator. So let's do this. G E N E R A Tor. 
And the particular type of generator that we're looking for is, of course, ASP.NET. So now we are ready to use Yeoman to create a project. So let's be orderly about this. Let's make a directory, and I'll call it projects. I'll change into that directory, and basically I'll use Yo, not you, but Yo, and we want to run the ASP.NET. That was the generator that we installed. And when it first runs, it'll ask us to take some statistics and stuff like that. I'll say yes. And now what I want to do is I want to create a basic web application without membership or authorization. And I definitely don't want to use F Sharp. But I want it to be simple. So let's say OK. And use some bootstrap. And what will we call it? I'll call it my first uh, core app. Okay, good enough. It's all done. It's doing some resolving. And it does does get some other stuff. So some resolving some dependencies. So let's I'll let this happen. And now, what I want to do is run these commands to run my app. So let's do this. CD my first app dot net restore and this may take a little bit of time I don't think so it looks like it's going pretty fast next we rebuild the UIL build And last, we run. It'll tell us where to open up our URL, localhost, something like that, right there. So what we'll do is we'll open, um, we'll open link. Comes over here, localhost 5000 port. And here is my first ASP.NET core application. I hope you guys like what you're watching. Come back and I plan to do some more.